Hello guys and welcome to a new music class with Miguel. Today we have our instrument video for this week and it's going to be for guitar. Okay, so the thing is that uh, I think you need more practice with this so I included uh, an easier exercise that is going to be like the starting point for all the other funk style exercises. Okay, so be very very careful with this. Okay, and I think some things were not very clear so I'm going to make them clear now. Now, we're going to be using, if you have a, a, a pick, use it, okay? If not, you can use your fingers, it's going to be easier with a pick. If you don't have a pick and you can go out and buy one, great, they're very cheap. I think it's cents, okay? It doesn't go up to a dollar, okay? And we're only going to be using this exercise, okay? There's no second exercise, only this one. So be very, very careful. First, the chords, okay? We're going to be using E, A, and B, okay? But the E that we are going to do right here, it's here on this note. We have, as you can see here in the guitar tab, we have four, five, four. So right here, four, five, four. Okay, that's gonna be the chord for the first bar. On the second bar, we have this A, six, five, five. Okay. On the third chord, we have B, but it's gonna be this B right here. 877 and finally we have E again right here 454 okay now every note every struck you do is gonna be up and then down up and down up and down up and down up and down, up and down, up and down. okay it's not gonna be okay you can do it but it's not gonna sound very natural okay so on the first bar, as you can see, we have four chords being played, four sixteenth notes played, and four muted. Four played and four muted. Okay, so it's, if it, I do it very slowly, it's going to be. Okay, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice that my right hand doesn't stop moving. Okay. The only thing that stops or changes is my left hand because on the first four, I'm pressing firmly. But then on the other four, I like, don't entirely release my hand, but I keep my, my fingers on the strings without pressing them so that it sounds like this, muted. So it's... Okay? So again, the entire bar will sound like this. It faster it's try to do it faster if you are first having trouble uh, problems with this do it slowly but then the point is trying to make it faster I will tell you how later on the second chord is the exact same rhythm but changing the chord one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. okay the third bar is gonna be here and then finally we go back to E Okay, so let me do it first slowly. It's gonna be one, two, three, and again. want you to do is when you have this slowly and with the right technique meaning on your left hand pressing and releasing pressing and releasing and with your right hand always moving always having that motion you never stop never ever ever okay and also on your left hand not only the pressing and releasing but the changes as well okay to make them as fast as possible so that they seem fluid Okay, and continues, not stopping to change. Okay, they're not very difficult chords. Okay, but just you need practice with that. When you have that, now you're going to make it a little bit uh, faster. So my recommendation is, on your uh, if you go to Google and you type online metronome, you will get that. Okay, you will set the metronome to 80, and then you will click play. 
and then you have the metronome, okay? So you're gonna do it at this beat, okay? So it will sound like this. One, two, three, and... When you do this, be sure that you're only playing the first three strings because if you play the other ones, it's gonna sound awful. Okay? It's gonna sound very awful. So be sure you're playing only the first three strings. Or you can, well, for example, while you're playing this chord, you can use this finger like to, to mute the other strings. I'm just putting them here without pressing them. So uh, here, muted, but then these three pressed, okay? That can be quite of a, a, a difficult thing to do, but just figure out which one is best for you. The muting with your left hand or just playing these two notes, the, uh, just playing with the right hand, okay? Uh, let me just do it a little bit faster. Let me set it at... Five, maybe. Let's do it a hundred. This is a hundred. So here we go. One, two, three, and. Notice that while I do the muting part, I'm changing. So I do. Okay, I just slide my fingers through the strings without pressing them, of course. I don't take them out. I just move like this. Okay, so be, uh, be sure to work on that. Now this, I think, was way easier than the one before. But the point of this is that you have to get it right, okay? Because if you don't get this right, all the other funk style exercises are not going to be well played, okay? This is the only thing you have to do for this week. Focus on this, practice every day, and get it together, okay? Your task, as always, is going to be recording a video of yourself playing this exercise and uploading it to Schoology, okay? So I will see you next week.